Hi, I'm Jack Lynch. We're here at AAA Hobbies in Magnolia, and we're working on the railroad today. It's Sunday, um, and I'm going to do a couple small things here, and I'll show you what I'm doing. These are kind of like planning stage things. I'm looking at my railroad, and I'm looking at the town on top, the Enscale Village or town. It's a city, actually. It's got city buildings. I'm going to take some of this brown paper, I'm going to lay it out here, and I'm going to do some roads so that I get an idea of where I'm going to put my groundwork material. And I'm going to use brown paper, I've got a black marker, I have a pencil, and a ruler. Those are the things you're going to need if you want to do this. Alright, first step is to take the brown paper, and what we're going to do is, you see I've taken everything off this layer, all the buildings, all the track. I'm just going to lay a piece of brown paper straight down across this and cut it out, and then I'll be able to draw my you know, geographic detail on it. Okay, so I've put brown paper down, and I've put all my buildings back on. So I'm taking my pencil and my ruler, and what I'm doing is I'm drawing in all the little details that I'll need to build my geographic features. In other words, I'm drawing in the roads, drawing in the parking lot over there near the train station, and the roads back here. And I'll keep doing this until I get everything drawn in, and then the nice thing about doing it in, in pencil is that if I make a mistake, I can just erase it and go back and redraw it. And once I'm happy with everything and all the features, then I'll take a black marker and I'll line everything out. Why am I doing this? This way I'll know exactly what I have to accomplish, where I have to put parking lots, where I have to put a road, where I have to put other features. And then the next step after this will be to probably start putting plaster cloth over some of this foam up on the top. All right, so I put all my buildings back here and drawn all my streets in, my parking lots and things like that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to tear all this off so you guys can see exactly what I did. Bear with me. So take a minute. And there's a method to my madness here. I'm doing this for a reason. Okay. I'll even take this big piece off. So, you're asking yourself, Jack, why did you draw it on a piece of paper? Why didn't you just draw it onto the wood here? Well, there's a reason that I do it this way. I do it this way so that when I'm all finished, I can take this cardboard, or I can take this brown paper out and cut things out and use them as templates. In other words, I'll take my X-Acto knife and my ruler and I'll cut the road section out here. And then I'll be able to cut plastic strip or sheet so that I can lay that down as the road. I can cut out this piece here and use it as the parking lot around the main buildings. In other words, it's raised a little bit. Same over here. I'll be able to see where my parking lot is for the train station, lay the road in, and so forth. So basically what you're creating here is templates to use to create the parking lot, the road, and various other uh, groundwork features.